Welcome to Dolly Sods. The six of us went out, Daphne, Matt, myself, Jeff, Sierra, and Jason. This picture was taken after the trip when the sun actually came out. Welcome to Dolly Sods. Alright, time for another adventure, this time going down to Dolly Sots, West Virginia for some backpacking and uh, Hurricane Harvey, if you can see a little bit of rain here, uh, is coming up from Texas and going to be hitting over that way. So it looks like we're going to have a little bit of rain this trip by a little bit, probably a lot, uh, but we're going anyway, rain or shine, we go. Had this trip play in since uh, probably the beginning of January and uh, doing this over Labor Day weekend. So had a couple extra days off so we can spend some time out there. So really looking forward to it. Other than the rain, I'll be a little bit cold, but got my Starbucks and uh, getting ready to head out on the road. As we drove down the road, I noticed the semi had flipped over on its side. It must have been going around a corner just a little too fast in the wet weather. There were a few more accidents along the way. A semi was rear-ended by an SUV. As I drove down the road, I really began wondering what this weekend would have in store for us. By the time I got to Broken Wheel Campground, our staging area for the next day, the weather started to clear up. I noticed the sign right outside of the general store that said life isn't about waiting for the storms to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. I had a sneaky feeling that's what our weekend was going to look like. Then I noticed this sun. As I pulled up to the campground, a female deer was already waiting for us. This is the primitive campsite, and I'm definitely thinking... Depending on how big the tarp is, maybe those two trees and these two trees. We have a little fire ring, so if we can build the fire and then have the tarp a little bit over this way in between these two trees I think it'll capture a lot of that heat. Alright, finally got the tarp set up over picnic table so we can have a little fire there. The rain continued on into the night. We were able to get a fire going and waited for the rest of our crew. This trip there was going to be six of us going to Dolly Sods, West Virginia on a backpacking expedition that we had no idea what was going to be in store for us. So it is 9.46 and we have finally all made it here. The next morning we left Broken Wheel Campground and headed for the Bear Rocks Trailhead, Dolly Sods, West Virginia. The skies finally opened up and we could see a mountain range in the distance. Was this going to be where we were headed for our final destination? We finally found the sign to Dolly Sods Wilderness in Montagahelia National Forest after about an hour and a half of driving. What we didn't realize is now that the dirt roads picked up, it was going to take us another 45 minutes to get to the trailhead. It's been 5 miles now on this dirt road and still driving. You can't tell, but about 50 yards in front of me is back. Finally made it to Bear Rocks Trailhead. A little foggy. Alright, just got packed up, getting ready to hit. Bear Rocks Trailhead, Labor Day weekend. Everyone's waiting for me. Now I'm going back to the car. I'll, I'll see you guys when you get back. Bye. Welcome to Dolly Sods. Forecast calls for rain. I don't see any rain. Do you see any rain? Not much. That rain here. What are you talking about? The first creek crossing.
Dolly Sot. Anybody bring their cane pole? Nice campsite behind you. Where? Right behind you. Oh, I didn't even see that. So we're probably, what, half mile in, maybe mile? Half mile? About mile, mile and a half. <laughs> yeah, definitely some nice sights back up in there, too. The rain finally gave us a break. Although the mist was still in the air, everything was so wet. At least we had a little break from the damp ground with this bridge. After crossing one of the creeks, you can see here in the lower part of the screen, two chairs made out of rocks. I wonder what people were thinking when they sat there in those chairs. Now it's time to go uphill a little bit. You can see from this snapshot just how steep the angle was. It was at least a 45 degree angle climb. Now we're up on top of a bald area, if you want to call it bald. Pretty much in the middle of nowhere, West Virginia, Dolly Sods. As we traveled on, we wondered if we were ever going to see the sun again. Just in the far distance, you can see that there's actually trees over there. Our visibility was only about 50 feet. We saw bear scat on the trail and wondered, could there be a bear over there just beyond the mist? I don't know, Adam. <laughs> Maybe we had a bear come by. What do you think about all the bears? Oh wow. Look at this. This is about two and a half, kind of right near the end of Bear Rocks Trail. Right. Yeah, definitely sheltered from the storm. Yeah, it's perfect. Man, it's so soft too. But somebody has totally trashed it, man. That's wrong. That's just wrong. Beautiful sight. Day two. Path that just came up. We came across an area where we found some stacked rocks. It almost looks like the Verizon man had been there and was telling you how much signal you had. Then we checked our cell phones and realized we had no signal. It must have been a sign from aliens in outer space. As bundled up as we were and prepared for the rain, we could finally see the horizon. The clouds were finally starting to part and we felt the sun might be coming soon. By this time we were on a trail called Rocky Ridge and I can really see where it gets its name from. Rocks all over the place, and the ridge lines, well, you can't see them so much, but they're starting to come out in the distance. As we begin day two, the clouds finally lifted from the ground, and we could finally see something far in the distance. The path was much brighter and wider than we had imagined. When it was so covered the, the day before, we couldn't imagine how far and how vast this place actually was. We finally got down from the top of that mountain. As you can see how far we went, the day before we could only see about 50 feet in front of us. Now we could actually see the whole mountain top of where we had been. We kept going down and then we ended up into the forest where we got a lot more rocks on this path and a lot more tree coverage. Then the path started to turn into a river. We followed this upstream for quite a ways 
and we're wondering, when is this water ever going to stop? We finally ended up at the top of this meadow. It was so beautiful and we could see for miles. I would imagine those far peaks are about 30 miles away. The weather in Dolly Sods is truly unpredictable. As you can see here in this picture, to the left you see the sun shining through. To the right it looks like it's going to pour down rain. Actually the clouds just passed over us and the sun came out. Lunchtime couldn't come soon enough. We passed this other river crossing and had a little spot open into the sun that we could lay out and eat our lunch. It was a great refresher. In the meadow right beside where we had our lunch that day, we found this beautiful blue tickly worker flower just getting ready to bud. After hiking for hours and hours and eating a big lunch, a couple of the guys decided it was nap time. The creek was Left Fork Creek, and the trail that we were on was Blackbird Knob Trail. If you ever get time to go there, there's a beautiful campsite and also plenty of places to eat lunch. After lunch, we began on the path again, and there's more rocks. Beautiful forests and rocks, but what we didn't know was what we were going to see next. Mountain lions. The mountain lion had just passed right before we got there. In case you missed it, Jeff was singing, The Fields Are Alive, to the sound of music. After all the rains, we were really surprised the ground was dry. Then we ran into the bogs on Dobbins Grade and thought, we have no way to go across this. We just have to go through it. Come that way. Your turn. Yeah, try and stay on the branches, maybe. Ridge. Sarah, just jump to where those trees are and grab a hold. Use your stick. <laughs> Let's see what we're working with. Here's some more. Here's some more. <laughs> Despite the beginning of the trip being so wet and going through those bogs and getting our waterproof shoes full of water, it truly was beautiful to be out here. After finally getting out of the bogs, we ran into this pine forest where we could camp for the night. It was still on Dobbin Grade Trail, but had this creek right beside it. Just below where our fire pit was was this beautiful creek that we could source water from. That night, you could see a full moon peeking from behind the trees. The next morning, we got up and the sky was absolutely beautiful. We could not believe that so many people had backed out of this trip due to the weather the first couple of days. As we headed back towards the cars, the sun was getting brighter and it was finally starting to get, get warmer and was reaching above 70 degrees for the first time during that trip. The Dolly Sods Wilderness Area is truly a beautiful place to go and visit. If you've never been, or if you've never even heard of it, I would definitely suggest that you go and check it out. And even if the weather is not so great to begin with, you never know what you're going to end up with. This was our parting shot the day that we left. After leaving the trail, we headed over to Elkins, West Virginia, and a place called CJ Maggie's for some great food. <laughs>